Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Inscription, indie horror game. Well, I don't know if it's indie. I, I guess it's considered indie because, I mean, it's not made by a big developer. So, indie horror game. Uh, <laughs> another challenger approaches. What do you mean? I've been here before. You will prove your worth in short order. Oh, I still got the film tape. Okay, cool. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. Oh, no. Oh, a gift from the angle. Okay, I'm good with that. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the Prospector before he was given the chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. That foul, stunted wolf? You really want such a creature in your deck? The sight of it does try my temper, but it has been dealt, so it stands. All right, sweet. Got all my guys. Boop, 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 boop. Awesome. Take them into my deck. All right, that's cool. So I guess whenever you start a new, not, not start a new game, but when you continue back into your game, I guess they just kind of see you as a new quote unquote player even though you're not i mean technically i'm not a new player at this like i have all of these cards that i unlocked last time in the film role so i'm not a new player but for some reason they just kind of bring you in as a new player maybe i died last time that would make sense that would make a lot of sense all right hopping right back into it we got uh oh i just skipped past what you're saying why is that wolf look a little different and there's kaminsky that looks like a previous player that probably died let's look guardian when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space well that's pretty cool and it only requires one bone too that's not bad okay and then this is a sacrifice oh geez straight off the bat sacrifice uh i guess <laughs> i'm at your service it's me bullfrog and kaminsky uh, let's just sacrifice Kaminsky. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! It went the other way around! For some reason, I thought I was sacrificing Kaminsky to the, uh, the stink bug, but I think I just sacrificed my stink bug, which sucks, because that's a living card. That was a living card that I just sacrificed for Kaminsky. My bad, dude. Okay, he requires a bone, sacrifices. Let's put a squirrel down, head back. Uh, see what else we got. We can put another squirrel out there. So we can get the stoat and the bullfrog. What does he have? He's a porcupine and a coyote. What does that do? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt one point of damage. Striker, no striking. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, get that there. Get the stoat over there. Keep me alive. I'll do what I can, my guy. I'll do what I can. Owie. Uh, okay, let's get another one of these out there. We meet again. All right, let's get Kaminsky in there with the bone and then get him out and put the stunted wolf in there. Alas! All right, cool. All right, Bullfrog's out, but we're on our way to a dub right now. Doesn't even matter. Why not put the squirrel out there for funsies? Boop, bop, bam. Got them all. Cool. Okay, so now we either go to the trapper, the that, and that, and that. Yeah, that's probably the best way. Because this looks like it goes on to that, and I'd rather see the trapper in the flames, uh, or the campsite, than the prospector right now. So let's see, trapper. Ye won't find better pellets within a hundred miles. For sure. Alright, so, uh, on the house. Thank you, thank you. I think we only have one gold tooth, so we can't really buy anything at all. Sorry, dude. You have me gratitude. Cool, cool, cool. So now we're on to the campfire where we can enhance the power of one of our cards. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. That's his health, said another. Alright, let's do it. If you must. Nope, Bullfrog Kaminsky. Why are you saying no? It gives you plus two health. And I think it'll be fine. Like, this seems to be the first time I'm running across these guys. I remember the last time we were playing this. Every time that you would uh, put someone on the fire, it would get they would get closer and closer to like killing whatever animal you put out there, which is why these guys are kind of reluctant to be put out there. I think. If anything, I'll uh, upgrade Kaminsky, but I don't think they're gonna go at him. 
The fire warmed the wary Kaminsky and enhanced its health. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your Kaminsky in tow, you retreated into the woods. Okay, cool. And now we're on to a regular fight. Uh, nice top deck. Uh huh. Uh, so we got two sparrows coming in. Do I have a bullfrog? I do, but for that I will need a sacrifice, but it doesn't even matter because that's right there. At least that blocks him. Uh, let's go ahead and get the bullfrog in there so he blocks uh, the sparrow. Boulder's right there too. Oh, I have one bone, so I can put him over there, but he's not going to do anything um, damage-wise. Let's just ring it for now. That's okay. Why did he just shake like that? <laughs> All right, uh, get Squirrel out here, replace stove. Yep, so then he's gonna start attacking the boulder slowly. He lowers the damage of the coyote. Oh, did he somehow just take out the guardian? What's that one, sharp quills? Oh, that is sick. That is sick. I love it. <laughs> Greetings. What's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, I think everything is kind of good where it is right now. I really wish I had, uh, uh, the bullfrog still there, but, I mean, it is what it is. I'll just ring it, let him do that one damage to me overall. Oh, and he broke that, too, so I'm gonna need, uh, this in here right now. Put the wolf in there. I must trust you. Okay, he took that out. He hit me for one, though. Uh, let's get another one of these out. Rabbit pelt? Are you kidding me? I concede. Really? So he's got offering me an olive branch to quit, or I could try to keep going. Honestly, the way this is going, uh, I'd rather kind of take the olive branch right now. It's all good. But he's doing that tactically because he doesn't want me to get extra teeth from damaging him. Because if I do that, I could use that on the trapper to get more pelts. But it is what it is. If I go this way, I get to the wood carver. If I go this way, uh, I get to that again. I'd rather go this way. Honestly. Are your pelts clean? Alright, this is the trader. I've got one pelt. Yeah, that's all I got. I didn't get many teeth last time. I don't think I really need that. This is pretty cool. It just like keeps coming around, around, around for me. I like that a lot, actually. These are exquisite. My thanks. Yeah, I got you, got you. Alright, we're now on to the wood carver. I'm hoping to get this. Oh man, my shit is gone. Because I, I, before the last gameplay, I had uh, a wolf with a pretty cool thing. Uh, stinky. Yeah, make it stink with the squirrel, at least. I feel like that's a good starter for now, at least. Like, since we don't really have much of anything else. The gray-haired woman silently collected her carvings and left. Alright, see you later. Get on to the fight. What we got? Okay, so, uh, yep, scroll card is automatically enhanced because of our totem. Let's go ahead and put them out there, but let's see first. We got the skunk and a sparrow. I think I'd rather put him right there for now. I mean, I'm going to sacrifice him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, stunted wolf. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we don't have any more to sacrifice, so let's just go ahead. This is two attack, and then should be able to take out that bird next turn. Let's get a uh, squirrel out here. He's gonna replace it with a porcupine. Uh, let's do that, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take him out anyways. I need someone that'll do uh, some damage to the skunk. Oh, well, <laughs> it immediately just, okay, okay. Okay, well, whatever, is what it is. Ooh. That's bad. He's at one health. And as soon as he attacks that guy, it's going to take him out. Because the porcupine does damage back to you. Yeah, whenever you do damage to it. I need another squirrel. Put that over there. Sacrifice this. Put the cat over there. This is going to be bad. That stunted wolf is about to go out. Yeah, see? Just killed itself, basically. Is what it is. Uh... I need more cards to deal. Kaminsky, sweet for bones? Hell yeah. All right, do it again. I've got nothing on deck doing uh, damage right now, though. What's up, Stoke? All right, uh, maybe I should just... Shite. Shite, shite, shite. Well, if I sacrifice him, I'm pretty sure he just goes back to my deck, so maybe I should just do... Oh. 
I'm pretty sure I sacrificed him, but for some reason he's still there. It does not perish. Oh, okay, cool. Well, he's just gonna sit there then. <laughs> We're just doing one damage back and forth to each other over and over again. Oh my gosh. I think you got me this time. Oh, no way. It gives me another olive branch. I think we kind of met at a snail mate there, which I've never done before. 